Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 22nd of February 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from the book Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 which reads, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. We all have limitations whether they are self-imposed or not. For many we are too fearful of life, too scared to try something too scared to stretch ourselves beyond our self-imposed limitations, too scared of what others might say about us. And so our little fears keep us nicely locked up in our jail cells. And so here's a story that I came across, an encouraging story that I would like to share with you. Jen was born without legs and abandoned at the hospital. Yet, she says being put up for adoption was a blessing. I'm here because of the people who poured into me. Her adoptive family helped her to see she was born like this for a reason. They raised her to never say, can't, and encouraged her in all her pursuits, including becoming an accomplished acrobat and aerialist. She meets her challenges with the attitude of, how can I tackle this, and motivates others to do the same. Scriptures tell us of many stories of people God used who seem incapable or even unsuited for their calling, but God used them anyway. Moses, a classic example, a basket case. But when God called him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, what did Moses do? He protested. He said, Lord, no, I cannot speak. I cannot speak. I'm, I'm, I'm not a leader. I cannot speak. I am slow of speech and of tongue. And what did God say to him? He said, Who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. And we can find this in Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. While Moses was still protesting, God provided Aaron to speak for him and assured him that he would be with them. My dear friends, like Jen and Moses, all of us are here for a reason. No one is a mistake. And God graciously helps us along the way. He supplies people to help us and provides us what we need to live for Him. Stop being afraid. Stop being scared. Stop imposing restrictions on yourself when you know that deep down you are capable of of doing so much more. Stop saying, I can't. And for heaven's sake, stop being concerned what other people are going to say because you are trying to do something. May the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.